when we are talking about the basics of computing, one of the first things that we will have to ask is, if computers can store only ones and zeros, how can they store uh, all the other characters, especially the things that you see on your keyboard, um, the ones that are not numbers. We know that uh, decimal numbers, or even any other um, number, uh, can be converted to binary, or ones and zeros. And as I said, ones and zeros are the things that computers naturally understand. So, um, it, th there is a mathematical conversion. But when it comes to characters like A, B, C, D, exclamation, quotation marks, the dollar sign, and all these other things, uh, there, there is no mathematical conversion that can be done. So for this reason, uh, you need to have a table or a conversion um, standard. So ASCII, or the American Standard Code for Information Interchange, is um, uh, is the most popular, or it's or at least it's one of the most fundamental um, in, uh, encodings of characters um, or uh, a translation between characters uh, into numbers. So uh, here I have the Wikipedia article. Now for these sorts of things. Uh, Wikipedia is fairly safe and if we look close enough you can see um, a character or under glyph so the, there's the space character the exclamation all these things that we normally see on the keyboard along with the uh, numerical um, characters and you have um, over here we have um, uppercase A uppercase B and so on and they all have a corresponding uh, binary number. Now, since we don't normally speak in binary, um, you can refer to them by um, the, the decimal number. So if somebody tells you that ASCII character 65 is A, they are, um, so that, that's how people normally refer to ASCII values in decimal. But internally, uh, they are stored in binary. But for our convenience, we refer to the the decimal um, equivalent of the binary value. So we say that uh, uppercase A is 65, uppercase B is 66, and so on. And lowercase A starts from 97, and um, it, it continues on like that. So the the most um, basic uh, form of ASCII uh, has 127 characters starting from 0 going up until 126 so um, so uh, that's um, that's the basic idea behind ASCII now if you're going to uh, do some programming um, tasks that involve character manipulation uh, it's a good bet that you might need to uh, face ASCII at some point now let's go back to Jess uh, here I have um, the Jess editor, of course, and what I want to demonstrate, uh, I want to demonstrate two functions. Uh, the first function um, is called odd or the ordinal. So the ORD function, now this is built into Python, and let me create a function called odd demo to demonstrate this. Now let's say that um, I have a character. Now this is stored as a string, that's not an issue. Uh, we said that um, uppercase A is 65. If I say um, ASCII val, and if I say odd, and some char, and if I print the ASCII val, when I run this, I can see the ASCII code for uh, uppercase A and just earlier we saw that it's 65 uh, in decimal and that's what we have uppercase A is 65 and if I try um, well let's try Z so Z over here uh, according to the table it's 90 let's see whether that works so we go here and we change this one to Z and we run it and you get 90 so um, the odd function uh, whenever you 
give a character to it. It has to be a single, um, uh, or it's a, it has to be a, a string with a single character in it, and it will tell you what the ASCII code is. So if you want to find out the ASCII code of a user entered value, what you can do is you can say uh, request string instead. Enter a character to find uh, the ASCII code and let's run this thing odd demo so it's showing me the prompt and I can enter whatever the character I want let's try um, uppercase Z um, which we tried earlier it gave us 90 and if we hit enter it shows us that the ASCII value is 90 um, and uh, the, the um, 1, 2, 3, 4 all the normal uh, numerical digits on the keyboard also have a corresponding ASCII value or ASCII number or an ASCII code as we normally say uh, and these ones are not direct translations of those numbers into binary so 1 is not 1 in binary it's 49 um, and there you go and um, 0 is actually 48 so although 0 is so far away from 1 on the keyboard uh, 0 is 48 uh, 1 is 49, 2 is 50, and so on, um, and 9 is 57. So um, anything between 48 and uh, 57, uh, those are uh, the numerical, or the ASCII codes of the numerical digits. Now, very rarely we need to remember what these things are, what the actual codes are, but the concept is uh, for, for normal characters on your keyboard, uh, even for um, things like uh, the signs that you don't normally use, there is a corresponding ASCII code. So, what if you want to do the conversion the other way around? Given uh, an ASCII code, how do you get the corresponding character? It can be done. So, for that, we use another built in function called uh, CHR. So, uh, I'm going to call this CHR demo. And for this one, I'm going to get some ASCII code. And this is an integer. Enter an ASCII code. And um, the character uh, is CHR and uh, some ASCII code. I probably should have made that uppercase because of the style that we're using and we print that character now chai is usually a reserved word in other languages that's why I hesitated but not an issue here and let's run this so here I can enter uh, for example 65 and this should if it works correctly it should give me, it should show me uppercase a and there you go so similarly i can enter 100 and no um let's try something that's known uh, yep so lowercase a should give me 97 sorry um i'm supposed to enter the number 97 should give me lowercase a and uh so on so when we have um this conversion now uh, we can do all kinds of things to it uh for example uh, now i'm going to call it the odd char demo which combines the two of these things let's say that um, uh, I want to count some number of characters uh, from A okay so um, I'm going to say um, start is ordinal of A so that's the starting position and then I can ask the user uh, to enter an offset in other words uh, to um, so if they enter one it means that uh, you want to move one away from a so it will make B if you enter two it will be uh, one away from um, um, sorry two away from uh, a and it will make it C so enter offset now don't worry about the, the fancy sounding names like offset and all that uh, you'll see that this is a fairly straightforward thing all right, so now the, the value start has a number in it because remember when we use odd, 
it gives us the ASCII code. It's a number or an integer. So uh, the, the thing I want to do is I want to get the new character, not the number. So if I use start, I have a number. And to that, I can add the offset that the user just entered. Now this will result in a number. Let's just print it out and see. Okay, so new charm and odd char demo. All right, so the uh, I want to enter the offset, let's say one, and that's going to show me 66, okay? And I want that to be converted to um, the character, not the ASCII code. So I use char to convert the number into um, the, the actual character. And if I enter 1, it will say B because we started counting from A. So if you can, so this is the same thing as asking, okay, um, uh, what's, the, uh, what, what's the fourth character that comes after A? And that's E, right? So that's in the fifth position. That's the fifth character. So you start counting uh, as B as 1 and uh, C as 2 and so on. Um, and you can get that. So instead of having um, the um, start assigned to a separate variable, I can put it here now because I'm uh, sure you're familiar with how that works. I can just replace that. So um, we are adding to that uh, starting position and I get the starting position from um, from the the, the lower uh, the uppercase is um, ASCII code so there, there are so many ways in which you can use these things and um, uh, there are various applications like uh, in encryption and all kinds of things so uh, I hope this is a um, hope this was informative